Over 300 years ago, a scientist named Sir Isaac Newton came up with three laws of motion. These laws explain how objects move. Newton studied math and physics, a type of science that deals with energy and matter. He came up with the theory of gravity when he was only 23 years old. Around 20 years later, in 1686, he shared his laws of motion with the world, and we still use them to this day. Newton's first law of motion is called inertia. It says that an object in motion will continue to move in the same direction and speed unless another force acts on it. This means that if you kick a soccer ball, it will go in the direction that you kicked it. It won't suddenly turn in midair and go a different direction. It will also travel at the speed that your foot was traveling when you kicked it, forever. But wait, that doesn't happen. The soccer ball doesn't go forever. That's because other forces are slowing it down. Friction between the ball and the air or ground, gravity, and even wind are all forces slowing down and redirecting the soccer ball. The second law of motion deals with momentum. It says that the heavier an object is, the more force it will take to move. You would have to kick a bowling ball much harder than a soccer ball to get it to move the same distance. This law also explains why the harder you kick a ball, the farther and the faster it will travel. Newton's third and final law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. For example, when you kick a soccer ball, the amount of force your foot puts on the ball is the same as the force the ball puts on your foot. This is why it's best to wear shoes when you kick a ball. Imagine kicking a bowling ball barefoot. It would probably hurt. The harder you kick it, the more it would hurt. That's because of Newton's third law of motion. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.